So uh, how many other guitars are you touring with? Um, not so many right now. I mean, uh, you know, most of my guitars are still um, sort of held up in legal affairs with the breakup of my previous band, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to get upset about that. Um, but, you know, that'll come. But uh, for the time being, I've got, you know, what I found um, out of my collection was like the most, um, the most individualistic guitars that I could possibly muster, you know, because I'm a sound junkie, sound junkie. And I'm also a bit of a, you know, I, I love, you know, gadgets on guitars, you know, like anything to really sort of stretch the imagination, right? So this next guitar is, um, this is a, a Fender Telecaster, a 1970 Telecaster, but what it has in it is it has um, something called um, a B-Bender, a Parsons White B-Bender. Now, uh, that was developed by um, Gene Parsons and Clarence White, who used to play in The Birds um, when they turned sort of country rock. So they wanted to develop a guitar that could mimic, um, you know, pedal steel um, type movements, you know, and that's that sound, that country sound. So what it is, essentially, it's just, um, this is, you know, this is not um, a computer thing at all. It's, it's all just like springs and levers in the back here that um, essentially it's attached, um, it's, it's attached to my B string and there's a cavity um, drilled out here that if I push down on the neck, it actually bends the B string um, like a perfect um, tone, right? So from B to C sharp. So the idea is like... Um, so you get that you get that country twang happening, you know. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. So it's 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 really fun too. Like when um, when you can wrap your head around this type of uh, guitar and like the mechanism within, uh, especially when you get into like soloing and all that, it just it makes the guitar sound totally different than what you expect. You know, with lead guitar and all that. You know, so it's a really cool instrument. Any of the other guitars you want to show us at all? I mean, uh, this is uh, one of my favorites too. I mean, um, you know, it's kind of a take on, uh, you know, uh, to bring the man up again, Mr. Page. Um, that's, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's kind of a take on that, you know, but um, this is a, a reissue of that old um, cheap guitar company from the 60s, Dan Electro. And, um, you know, I was amazed. I was really happy when they came out with this, uh, this version, this 12 6 version, because I, I also own you know, the classic Gibson, you know, double neck, right? But like I said, that's um, kind of unavailable to me right now. <laughs> but, um, but this guitar um, does, you know, it kind of offers the same um, colors, you know? And it's wonderful, like, to be able to... Um, to what, I, what I had my um, guitar technician do is wire it in such a way that both necks stay on all the time. So you get this sympathetic ringing, you know? Um, and it really opens up the guitar. And I, I use this guitar for... Um, for the song The Kingdom off the new record, right? So. sort of, you know, cathedral-like chime to it, you know? So it really, uh, you know, just, I mean, with the collection of guitars that I have right now for this show, I mean, all, mind you, it's, it's not as, um, as diverse as what I've been used to in the past, but at least every single guitar I have is a totally different sound, and that's what, you know, brings out the colors in the set, you know? So, yeah. Ooh.